hello everyone welcome to the video today i wanna talk about uh, strange behavior when you increase the power limit on amd rx 9070 and uh, 9070 xd cards what i mean by that a couple of days ago i ran into some reddit posts when people claim that uh, they drop performance when power limit increased in benchmarks you will see higher result when you increase power limit but in games you will see lower clocks and uh, lower fps so i decided to do some tests by myself card is a 9070 sapphire pulse edition the latest version of the drivers cpu is a ryzen 7 570x 3D. Some people will say probably, oh, you have two weak CPU and it will cause bottleneck, but that is not the case. You will see in the tests. Also, uh, IMD Smart Access memory is enabled. Okay, I will test some games now that I have installed. Card is on default values. And first game is Hand Showdown. On the right side, you, uh, you can see FPS. It's about uh, 206, 207. You can also see power draw, GPU temp. Okay, what will happen when I increase the power limit? FPS go down from 210, now is 202, 4. Also GPU draw, GPU power draw is increased. Okay, now I will decrease power limit to minus 10%. And FPS go a little bit higher than stock. Power is uh, drop. Temperatures and uh, pan, uh, pan spin is also dropped. Let's see now, I test for this uh, particular model, I can go with minus 90 to the core, this is the offset, and power limit is also minus 10. Let's see what's happened now. We have 216, 215 FPS, clocks are, are higher, power draw is the same. Let's see now. What will be, uh, what will happen if I increase the power limit? Offset is stay same. We have lower FPS. 207, 205. From 215. That's 10 FPS lower. It's not uh, in, uh, much, but it's lower, also power is higher. Blocks are lower. GPU temps are higher. I don't know what is the cause, but for everyone that will uh, undervolt the card and uh, watch tutorials on the YouTube, the, you must pay attention to, to this. Don't uh, trust benchmarks. Let's check now performance and behavior in the Ghost of Tsushima. Card are on default values. And we have about 160 FPS. What will happen if I increase the power limit? We have basically the same FPS, but uh, GPU board power increased. Also, Fun is ramping up, temps are higher. No benefit of this. Now, let's check. Minus 10. We'll uh, uh, later test the offset.
on minus 10, FP is basically the same. Cards are quieter, cooler. And now, let's put minus 90. As I say earlier, this is the this is the max offset for this card that uh, can run stable. Let's see now. We have a little bit higher FPS. Card is cooler, quieter. For me, this is way to go. We don't see any benefits from a uh, higher uh, power limit, but as I say, you must test this in a couple of games to see what is the better for uh, for you and your uh, system. Okay, let's test the uh, performance in the third and the last game that I will test today. Card is on stock, default. This is painkiller, by the way. And we have 164. Okay, what will happen if I just raise power limit? FPS go higher by little, but also power job, fun wrapping up. Let's put down to minus 10. In this case, FPS can go lower. Also, clocks go lower. Let's test now with minus 90. FPS go higher. Power drop stays the same. Temps. Uh, GPU fan dropping. Now increase uh, plus ten percent. We have uh, actually a little higher FPS in this case. One seventy, but card is hotter. Let's try one time minus 10. It's basically the same. But you get a little bit uh, colder card. As we see, we don't have many benefits from increasing power limit. But it's best to test by yourself. Don't uh, just copy settings from other cards that you find on forums and YouTube videos. Test a couple of games and find best for yourself and your card. That's it. See you in the next video.